This report is on water quality. It's a follow-up to my earlier report on the science of water quality. The focus this time is on the two nutrient pollutants of nitrogen and phosphorus. On land, of course, they are, very, they are nutrients. They're very valuable. They help plants to grow. But when they get into water, and there's too much of them, they also help plants to grow, plants that we don't want, like algal blooms and slime and weeds. The way in which this report uh, is looking at the nutrient issue is from the point of view of land use. And we've seen a lot of land use change in recent years, away from sheep and beef farming towards dairying and towards forestry. And this is happening on a large scale. We've seen, of course, large scale land use in the past. I mean, pioneers cl cleared uh, huge areas of bush on hills to create pasture for sheep. And uh, more recently, of course, the spread of pine plantations across much of the country. The uh, basis of the report is a modelling exercise which is done in two parts. The first part looks at how land use change, changes in type of farming that's done, uh, is driven by changes in the prices of wool and meat and milk uh, and logs. And the second part looks at how that land use change means different amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus actually getting into water. And what the modelling shows very clearly is that uh, it, when there's a shift to dairying, there's a big increase in nitrogen and phosphorus in water. When there's an increase to forestry, it goes the other way. There's a decrease. Um, I do acknowledge um, the great effort that's going on to mitigation, uh, particularly on dairy farms, to reduce these nutrients getting into water. It's relatively rare in much of the country now to find shed effluent putting, being put directly into water. But unfortunately, um, the problem is the scale of the change that is taking place. I would wish the result had been different because dairying is very important to New Zealand. It's a major industry for us. But this is uh, what the modelling shows, this is what the report has come out with, and I'm hoping that it will lead to more informed decisions. So do feel free to get a copy of the report from my office or download from the website. Thank you.